Humanity has been driven from Earth, but now it's time to take it back. Join the Reconquest and fight the Scourge on the Drop Zone Commander Hub at BeastsOfWar.com. Become a general of mighty armies at the Kings of War Hub. Take command of elves, dwarves, and orcs in this game of massed fantasy combat on BeastsOfWar.com. Alright everybody, welcome to another Let's Play here on Beast of War. Today, myself and John are facing off for some Flames of War 4th Edition. You will have seen the bootcamp that we sent out. Everybody at the bootcamp got to learn, and now it's your chance to learn how to play this fantastic game. So, yep. we're keeping it very basic for this one. Uh, Michael, you're joining us to teach us. Welcome to the show. Yep. Nice to have you. You're right. uh, so, Michael, would you like to tell us what we're going to be playing with, what the scenario is, and where were we getting from? Where's that jump off point for everybody in Flames of War 4th Edition? Well, the scenario we're going to be playing, it's just going to be a fairly simple one, a battle of annihilation. So, mm -hmm. uh, the objective is to kill um, your opponent's tanks. Okay. Uh, and we're going to be playing a very simple force of what you get in L our main box. Mm -hmm. All right, well, uh, let me throw in what I've got here, and you can actually tell us mm -hmm. what we're working with. So, yeah. I'll put these in here. So what am I working with from here? Uh, we're working with two Panzer IV tanks. Mm -hmm. uh, one is armed with a short barreled cannon, mm -hmm. uh, seven point five centimeter. So that's this little dude. Yeah. The, one, the other one. And the other one is uh, armed with a long cannon. Uh, it's okay. Kind of that's there. my heavy hair, yeah? Yeah, it is, yeah. All right. uh, right. John, Obviously, yeah. we're talking about the guns and we're looking at the models and they both have long barrels, but, you know, someone, Justin, um, built his with long barrels. Mm. That's a long barrel? Yes. That's a short barrel? No, that's mm. a long barrel, too. That's well, an F2. Not, the, the nozzle break's different. <laughs> that's an yeah. F2. Oh, well. The short, bar the short barrel should go from, like, that to that. Oh, is it the really short one? Yeah, the stumpy mm. one. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, because it's like... All right, I'll warn you now, everybody, on the kit, there are three gun barrels you can choose from for your Panzer Force. Mm -hmm. Whoops. Justin didn't consult me when building his models. <laughs> no, I, I'll tell you exactly what I did. Mm. I built what he built. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so I assume the guy that's training us it's would okay. be doing it right. <laughs> we blame it on the professional. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's Not okay. my fault. <laughs> all right, so John, do I pop in what you've got? Yep, so what I have here is... Two Crusaders and one M3 Grand. So these yeah. and then this. Mm -hmm. the, the Crusaders are actually armed with a two-pounder uh, gun. Are. Yep. So it's a shorter version or um, shorter version of a, of a uh, British cannon. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. And so. the, the Grant, on the other hand, the Grant is the heavy hitter of the, the bunch. Yeah, yeah, but from the boot camp, the Grant has one thing which has surprised me the entire weekend, mm -hmm. which was that extra little turret on top. Oh yeah, yep. it's mm -hmm. so reliable. It's insane. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, oh look, main gun misses. Little gun hits. You gonna die from that? Well, it's a two up CF. Roll a one. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, That's so uh, Michael, how do we begin? Uh, let's roll off to see who gets to deploy his forces first, or okay. his first unit first. So, well, <laughs> oh wow, look at that. that roll. That's amazing. That's that's some skill rolling yeah, right there. Again. All right, there's four. four for me. And a one. And a one. And a one. Now, I'm assuming deploying the unit, is this a single unit of two tanks or two units of one? Two separate tanks. Two units of mm -hmm. one. Okay, that's going to be important. So, from where I am, 12 inches, actually gets me really nicely far forward. Will I get the first turn? Uh, not necessarily, so you want to uh, you keep yourself in cover right. in well, case you I'll, don't get the first I'll turn. I'll pop my short barrel up mm -hmm. to here. Mm -hmm. With actually no, I'll put the I, I'll put the short barrel up first because I can risk losing it a little quicker, mm -hmm. and I'll put the long barrel in behind it, yep. and I'll okay. move in from there. Yep. Hopefully. Okay, yep. over to me then. Mm -hmm. So right, where's so your twelve inch deployment, Mister Lyons? All right, my twelve inch deployment gets me, you know, up, up to there, pretty pretty close to stuff. Yeah. So let's have a look. Let me get in behind there. Maybe do some flanking. All right. Uh, again, are these tanks being deployed? Separately, or each one different? Each oh. one works as a separate unit for this for this tutorial. Okay. Right. Uh, and should I have only deployed one of mine, then John deployed one? Uh, we can we can go both tanks, or John now can deploy all of his yeah, tanks. If you're happy. I'm, I'm happy enough with that. Yeah. Yeah. It's a friendly learning match, so I'm happy enough with that. Yeah. Okay, so... Go right ahead, John. I'm going to pump the Grant up to here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's your anvil. Um, yeah. I'm going to keep him... Your Keep them in a bit of cover there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the Crusaders, with their 12 inch deployment, we're going to have them um, front and center. Front and center. Okay. Up like that. Okay. All right. So I assume we now roll off for the first turn? Yes, correct. Mm -hmm. All right. So for myself, eight, four, four for me, six. Ah. 
So the Deseret go on the offensive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And let, for, just to keep it simple, for now we're just moving with the tactical, tactical speeds. We are, okay. we're, we're not going to be dashing or anything. Okay. Um, the Crusader has a tactical speed of 14 inches. Mm -hmm. um, and the Grand has a tactical speed of just 10 inches. Yeah. Right. So the Crusaders are really fast. They're yeah. nippy. <coughs> really the nippy. Crusaders so you can get right fast. up in here, eh, John? Mm -hmm. So I, can, I could get right up into your face if I really wanted to. Oh, yes. Just be careful, if you're moving over these stone walls, mm -hmm. you'll have to make a cross check, which mm -hmm. means your tank can bog down and stop uh, yep. before he can get where, where, wherever you want to get him to. Let's see. Okay, I don't want to do so cross checks okay. on a very fast tank. Is so. there? Yep. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking about I'm it. thinking about it. Mm -hmm. I think even with the, the excellent move that these Crusaders can do, mm. I think I'm just going to bring them uh, moving into some cover. Moving into yep. some cover. I know this feeling, John. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, and then I move the Grant as well at mm -hmm. the same time. Yes. Mm -hmm. So the Grant, where is it going to move to? The Grant is going to, you can't see him on the camera, there he is. He's going to shift up here. Okay. So we're going to use our terrain to our advantage here. Mm -hmm. I think we'll just sneak around. No. Yes, no, yes, no, yes. If you want to get a shot in. Yeah, watch where your tape is, John. You can now pre-measure whether you got the Germans in range. Mm -hmm. uh, your range is 24 inches for both cannons. Okay, so... so 24 and inches. It's oh, just it's short. Just short. Just short. Yeah. 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 Good try, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It does mean, however, that you will then get to move up and be in range. I, but I have to move to get into range. If you had moved into range first, I wouldn't have minded so much because mm -hmm. then I could have just sat there and took two shots at you, if I remember right. Yes, correct. So there's there's a bit of a trade-off to getting that first strike in. You'll get yep. less damage output. Yep. Uh, but it's just how efficient it might be. So is that turn? That's turn for me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now what, what uh, Justin can do is we can introduce this idea of movement orders. Uh -huh. You can either move at tactical and engage this tank with just one shot. Uh -huh. Or you can make your skill check roll for uh, one of the tanks. If he makes the skill roll, mm. he would blitz four inches forward mm. and be able to shoot with, the, with his full rate of fire. All right, so I tell you the way I'm going to do this. So mm -hmm. the short barrel who's in the front, he will just tactical move. The guy behind will try mm -hmm. for the blitz move. So mm -hmm. it means that I have to sort of move a tank out of the way to actually get myself into position here, all right? Mm -hmm. So uh, what's going to happen is he's got a tactical of 10. So he's got plenty of movement. He will move up to here mm -hmm. and just be front on with a wall sort of guarding the flank. The other one I'm going to have to do the mm -hmm. skill check on. So uh, what is the skill check? The skill check is the three up. Mm -hmm. The downside of it, if you fail it, is you will get a penalty of plus one to hit if oh. you fail it. Okay. Well, it's worth the risk. Go yeah. for it. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Failed. Last. <laughs> now, can I still do my regular tactical movement Yes, after you that? can. But yes, I still have that plus one to hit. Yes, correct. All right. So a plus one to hit and then a rate of fire one as yes. well. So it does hurt a fair but bit. But it is worth taking that. that risk. So he'll move up to here beside his buddy. Yep. Mm -hmm. And now both of them are in here with your tank right up there. Just over here. Yes. So that sh should be interesting. So uh, check for 24 inch range. I assume I'm well in You're now. You're well in, yeah. Actually, yep. this gun is... It uh, has a bit better range. It oh. has a 32 inches of range. Oh, lovely. The long one, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so I could have actually sat still. Could have, could have no. just sat still. That's fine, though, you'll learn. Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> honestly, I don't want to just be sitting hovering at the edge of the board. Yeah. You know, I want to get stuck in and actually, you know, I want to see that thing burning because it yeah. caused a lot of pain to me over the weekend. Mm. True. Okay, so uh, shooting step then. Yeah, so pick up one dive because your movement uh, rough is one. Mm -hmm. um, now you calculate the two hit uh, score mm -hmm. for the grant. His uh, two hit is four up. Mm -hmm. Then if you're over 16 inches, you have still have to add one more to the mm -hmm. score needed. So there is 16. You uh, are yeah, I'm well out on both. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I will have the short barrel on a five, the long barrel on, on a, a six, six because, because of the skill, build yes. skill check. Mm -hmm. right. So let's go, with, uh, let's go with the short barrel first. Mm -hmm. No. No. Long barrel. Yes, yes it's a hit. It. <laughs> Okay, so now this, the, the shot has actually hit the Grant. Um, now he, the Grant has, still has a, an armor save. Yeah. Um, 
it, the, the, his normal armor save is 5, or the, 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 the armor uh, score is 5. You add 1 for the long range, mm -hmm. and now um, you, you roll a die, uh, add the scores together, and see whether they, you can beat uh, the anti-tank of 10 on that long barreled mm -hmm. okay. four. So it's a single a, die. A single die. Yeah. You need a 4 for a glance, 5 for a save? Yes, correct. Okay. Oh, Boom, it two. went straight through. It went straight through. Yeah. But it doesn't mean it caused any very big damage. It, yeah. it just could have penetrated the, the whole tank, went straight through. Yeah. Uh, so to check whether you, you uh, caused any significant damage, you have uh, Justin has to roll his three up firepower um, roll. This is where I always fail. No. Oh, <laughs> but it's, uh, Somehow it blows up. Yeah, it blows up. Oh, um, Grant's now dead. Yeah, that was that was some very lucky rolling on my part. Oh yeah, true. So I'm not I'm not going to damage Mal. I'm just going to roll over. Yeah, yeah. So he's on the side. He's, he's on the. He's there. And now it all comes down to the Crusaders. Near, the Crusaders. Crusaders. <laughs> yeah. This could be interesting. Okay. So I, I, it's clearly over to me now. Yes, mm -hmm. of course. You've done of course. all your stuff. I've, I've I've done more than enough for a turn. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, let's do a little bit of pre-measuring first. So mm -hmm. a tactical is 14 inches. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. I want to avoid as much terrain as possible. Mm -hmm. so and get to, so get side get shots. To there. About here. So that's the trick. We want to try and get to there. But can I also do a movement order? Yes. The the downside of it is they only they only succeed on a five up. Ah. Mm. So it's very risky. Yeah. Um, we'll not do that. Yeah, I don't think we'll do that because if I can get to that position, I'm on mm. your side armor value. Yeah, yeah which correct. makes me a lot more killable. Mm -hmm. So I think you said you're about here. Yeah, mm. let's just do that again. I'm going to bring it to yeah. right there. So. Yep, so there, that's fine. So one crusader gets to here. Yeah, mm -hmm. fair enough. And the other one will get up sort of to there. Yeah. alongside him. All right, so you've got two shots into the back of my two units. Yes. Nice. Mm -hmm. I assume they're a single unit. Can they divide fire across two units? Uh, yes, they can. Okay, so you can target each one once if you want, mm -hmm. or put two onto one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, what I will do, because I'm looking at target priority, mm. not that it matters, because as far as I know, Crusaders are quite thin-skinned anyway, they're not going to take pun much punishment from either of those tanks. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, the short barrel Panzer IV is not. It's a 50-50 to penetrate, so you might be, you're might you better off targeting the big one. So are you yeah. going to put both shots into one here? Both shots mm -hmm. into the long barrel. Okay. So this one is clearly in the open. Yep. For this one, this stone wall gives concealment, so mm -hmm. I would say it's a plus one to hit. Okay. okay. So my normal to hit ratio then on the uh, normal the, value. The Panzer IV is hit on a four up. Four up. Mm -hmm. So I'll take the straight four up first. Yeah. Yeah. And you're well within 16, let's not forget that. Yep. Yeah, that's true. Hits. It's a hit. Okay. Okay. Um, so I'll move that to the side and do the concealed one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's one on there. So this will be a. Five. Five. Yeah, it's a hit. <laughs> oh, that rat symbol. Oh, yeah. That rat symbol on the custom dice, it's just like, oh, I hate seeing you. Of course, oh, you know, I'm sure you hit seeing the, the other ones. Okay, so, so. You now pick up your two dice for yeah. two hits. Um, the armor save on the Panzer III, uh, side and rear armor, is three. Um, two pounder is an anti tank of seven. So if you, if you roll one, two, three, you're not happy. If you roll more than that, you're happy. Okay, so four for a glance, five for a save. Yeah. Oh, risky. Oh, oh four and a five. One, so one bounced off, one, one possible glance. glance. Yes, uh -huh. correct. So, whenever you're glancing, do you start to roll a firepower check to get people bailed? Yes, correct. And then mm -hmm. if you penetrate and don't make the firepower, what happens? They get bailed. Okay, mm -hmm. so auto bail if you don't kill them on a penetrate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now you have to roll your firepower. Yep. Four up. Uh, yes, easy. Yes. So they're so, bailed. This crew did not like getting shot mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in the rear. They're bailed out. I think that's done for John. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I think so. Over to you. Okay, so first thing I have to do in my turn? Remount the tank. Okay, so remount the tank. The remount rating for the Panzer IV is a 3-up. So they're kind 60% of... 60% chance, that's not bad. Yeah. So, okay guys, look. This is our first fight together. You will get back in your tank. You will shoot these. Do you understand? Yes. Talked. Uh, he's he's going to re-roll it. Uh, I'm going to re-roll it because... Okay. Oh, no! Oh, God. <laughs> this is what I get for playing fair. Now, we have a little scatter on the table and the dice was over on its side. Mm -hmm. I never take a dice like that. I'll always lift it and re-roll it just to play fair. Mm -hmm. uh, but 
that has hurt me because now my long barrel, well, he's having to sit there and take another round. He's, oh, yeah, he's out of action for now. So, mm, I think I need to be a little tactical here. Mm -hmm. So, man down. Oh yeah. Leave him behind. So, uh, basically what's going to happen is, from here, this tank is going to make a tactical move. And I'm going to have him actually move up and around to here. Mm -hmm. Now that means I'll have to take a cross check, but I think it's worth taking the risk. So what is the cost for cross check on a Panzer IV? It's a three up. A three up. Yeah. Right, so do I move up to the wall and then make my cross check? Yes. If you fail it, you just stop there, do nothing for the okay. rest of the round. So what I'll do is, from where I am, it'll take me at least two inches of movement mm -hmm. to get up to the wall and yep. sit like so. And then I have to make my cross check of three up. He makes oh, it. Oh yeah. And so then I have another eight inches, which will allow me to move to here and shoot out and across. Mm -hmm. Now, quick question: Am I in his side or rear armor from there? That's his uh, front armor. The way you the way you ca calculate it is you draw a line through the front of the hole. So, for instance, ah, I see. Doing that. Yes, correct. That gives you your front armor. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Something to pay attention to, guys. Yeah. Definitely. Well, uh, that's all I can really do. I'll take a shot with him. Mm -hmm. He has moved. It, so you hit on a three up ba uh, for for basic calculation mm -hmm. because the crusaders are aggressive. Um, mm -hmm. But since they're concealed by the stone wall here, yeah. Then you you add one to the score needed. So it's going to be a four again. I can yes. live with that because it sort of puts me in a better defense. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Dice happen. Dice happen. Dice, Dice happen. happen. Oh, right. so that's that's your turn. Then. That that mm -hmm. will be my turn. And you have a build out tank sitting right in front of you. You are in cover. I do. Um, I think the first thing I'm going to do is do a tactical move. Okay. Okay. Really, you're not just going to sit and pump all your shots because are you not ready to fire two with Crusader? Yes, that's true. You're I've... on you're on my side, though, or you're going to be on my side next time. I have to move them to keep you in the front arc. Do you mm -hmm. have to move all of them? And if you one don't stays have still... to, you can you can leave one stationary mm -hmm. and then move the other one. If you want. Hmm. Choices. 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 Decisions. Well, mm. to be fair, you can only kill one of them per turn. Mm. Mm. So. Uh, actually, he can, if he doesn't move, he can kill two per turn, but it's highly unlikely. Yeah. yeah. Right, do you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit still. Mm -hmm. uh, um, I'm going to try a blitz move, though, maybe. Actually, that, that would fail on, a, on anything yeah, less than a no, five, five up. So I would say... If I was to do it, I would probably pump two shots in this guy, in, into the back of this guy, yeah, and maybe and try two, two shots that. here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. That sounds fair. Yeah. I'm going to split the fire then. Um, so hitting on fours in here because he's in the open. Yep. And I'm on side armor with him as yeah. well. Yes, correct. One shot. One uh, hit made it. Yep. So I pop one down beside the tank. And then because two he's concealed on. behind this wall, um, it's, five, it's, it's five. a five up. Okay. And two hits. Oh. Mother of God. <laughs> Good at shooting. Yeah. Not bad. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. So I will take it on my build out one first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's a four for another build check and yeah. a five to be safe. Yes, correct. And anything less than that, even if you fail to actually damage me, that's two builds on bills. So I think mm. that means the crew just go, nope, not today. Yeah. It, on the, if they failed their remote check, then yes. Uh -huh. yeah. They did. So the so the the, the armor fa armor safe has failed. Now yeah. if you can make your firepower check on the four up, mm -hmm. he's gone. Yeah. Well, even if I don't, I get another bail. bail and then if there's a another bail, then? that's a remount check. If you fail it, they're gone. Okay, now I get uh, it. Okay. <laughs> two. It's a two, so that's another bail. Uh -huh. You don't add another counter. You just roll uh, straight away. Okay. And it's uh, three up. Three up on their motivation, is it? Yes, correct. Okay. Uh, Yay! Six. So they do hang about. Mm -hmm. So that's that's okay. Okay. Now it's your other two. Okay. Yeah. But this is front armor here. Yeah. Yes. So difficult. that's five to his seven. Mm -hmm. So you only fail on the one. Two is it just a glancing. Hit. You, you say I only fail on the one. <laughs> I, I guarantee you this is a snake eyes moment right here. No, no. I made it. Well, you're but fine. it's a still a potential bail because you rolled two. Yeah. yeah. So, so a glance. Four plus two to. Yeah. Yep. Yep. They're so. both bailed now. Okay. Ooh. So over to Justin. I, I so remounts. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so I'll try and remount my big gun first. Mm -hmm. Then the other one. So the big gun on a three. No. Nope. <laughs> the other one. 
yes. does. Mm -hmm. So that one gets back in. Yep. He is going to sit still and just pop two shots into the unit. Yep. Mm -hmm. Needing force. Yes, correct. One. One hit. So your, uh, your front armor, mm -hmm. John, is uh, three. Yep. And the anti-tank on the short barrel one is a seven. So okay. you're looking out for at, at least fours. Okay. It's a, it's four, a four, so it's a potential bail. The firepower on this gun is a three up. Yeah, yep. so it's it bails. bails. It's so right. this guy with the commander. Yep. Okay. That'll be my turn. Yeah. <laughs> so I will say to everybody, this is a very cut down version of the game. This is the minimum you need to get on the table and actually learning those mechanics. Yep. Uh, well, John, off you go. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. I kind of want the Crusaders to start wolf packing these two Panzer IV separately. Okay. As in, I want to go for one at a time, then swing around and go for the other one. Okay. Because um, I want to keep the active gun away from me while okay. I can, you know... Are we, are we going to Benny Hill this one? <laughs> I'm going to... All I want to do is just kick the AFK guy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I just want to blow him up and then I can deal with the guy that can actually oh, you hurt You spent way too much time playing World of Tanks. Yes. <laughs> He's not AFK. He is AFK. Ping's too high. It's okay, fine, his ping's too high. And he's just sat there going, <laughs> lag, lag. Yeah. Okay, right. Okay, off you go. So I would like to tactical because I want to keep this building between me and the active Panzer IV. It sounds like a good plan. Yep. Yeah. But I only need to. Actually. Oh, don't go too far, John. Don't go too far. I know where I'm going. So I'm thinking maybe just there. Actually. Oh, you're there. gonna hide right behind the building on me. Yeah. Uh, How about that? And then the other one gets up beside him. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Mm. <laughs> that is gonna hurt. It is, however, only two shots. Yeah. yeah but you're point blank. Oh yeah. Mm, true. Hitting on fours. Heh. Right. Two shots. Two pounder guns. Yeah. Far away. Do it. Yay. One. Okay. And your save is four. Up. Four for glance. Yeah. Five for good. <laughs> And oh. fails again. Oh dear. So, fire park jack. Is it? Don't let me down. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, no not again. <laughs> but it's another bill, so it's another check. Yep. See if he just runs away. No. Well, he likes it well enough. Like, what? Are these guys just sitting on the back, back deck of the tank, sunning themselves? It's a lovely day in the desert. Yeah. Just catching some rays, man. Oh, yeah. You know, I, I think Oddball has jumped into my tank. I think more than anything, they're trying to fix that one fan belt that got hurt, you know, and that's why the tank, that's why they bailed out in the first place. They're like, nope, there's a fan belt gone. We've uh, got to fix it. All right, all right. Stop shooting at us. <laughs> all they hear is bing, bing, bing. Oh, yeah. Uh, I just have Jack Sparrow on my head. Stop blowing out in my ship. <laughs> Only this time. My tank. Yep. Right, I think that's my turn. Okay, uh, so it's on to me. Mm -hmm. Remind check. Yep. Three up. Get back in, you lazy sods. Thank Yay. you. My, my plan backfired. Mm. <laughs> so, uh, he's going to tactical. And he's going to just tactical. He's got plenty of room to do this, so he's just going to go to here. Joe, you, right. you could have just blitzed. No, because then I risk the plus one to hit, mm. and I want you to be easy to hit. But yeah. you could have just stayed still and just rotated the turret round. And left myself on side armor. Mm. Yeah. Again. <laughs> <laughs> and what I'm going to do with the other one is I'm going to be mildly sneaky. So he's got plenty of move to do it. So he's just going to drive around the corner and up uh. to this wall and sit right there. Mm -hmm. So I assume because I'm up against the wall, I don't give him that, that cover. No, not anymore. Nice. All right. So one shot each. Mm -hmm. Yep. You're hitting on threes. Right. From the long barrel. Yep. And now, important thing. Does this count as side armor here? Uh, it, it is side armor, but for the long gun, it doesn't make any difference. Oh, well, yeah. well. I just want to make sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so firing, miss. Hit. Or no, three. Yeah, yeah. Hit. It's a and for the short, hit. Yes. Mm. So that's two hits. So one for the long, one for the short, mm -hmm. yep. like so. <laughs> for the short, you get a save. Okay. Um, let me check quickly. That'll be a five up save, five for the glance. Oh, oh it's a save. Oh, yeah. Hi. <laughs> and the other, the long barrel? The long barrel went straight through. It's straight through to the fire power test. Yeah. Okay. Three up to kill him. Do it. 
No! You bailed it. Bailed. Just bailed it. Mm -hmm. uh, give me a Desert Rats bailed token. Okay. Go. All right. Over to John. <sighs> back to me again. Yeah. All right. Get back in. On a four up. Yep. Nope. Nope. Okay. So they stay out. It's this other Crusader. Yeah. <laughs> What's he going to do? He's going to have to continue doing what he has been doing. Mm -hmm. yep. And he's going to tactical. Mm -hmm. All right. Round to here. Right. Now, does that do anything for like command ranges or anything? Because it's a single unit. Yeah, if they if they remain within six inches of uh, one another, then that's fine. Uh, if it's just the uh, um, commander moving off because the the other guy um, is is bailed out, that's also fine. Okay. Okay. We're not going to do morale checks yet uh, for yep. for units because they're not big enough. Mm -hmm. We're just going to skip it. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. So, shooting in the rear. Need one, a four. One shot in the need a four. Yes. Nothing missed. Oh, okay. That's <laughs> your <t> All right. <laughs> the dice gods love to mess with me and John. We'll be here for a while. So if there's a swipe here, guess what? It took ages to kill each other. Yeah, true. <laughs> but that's just our dice. Mm -hmm. So, uh, for my turn, you know what? The way you're rolling, I'm just going to sit still with both. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. So from here, two shots in with the short. Yep. yep. In threes. Two hits. Two, two hits. hits. Uh-huh. From here, shooting back the way into front armor, needing threes. Two hits. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so the short, I do, the, from the short barrel, I do have the save, which is a five up. Yes. Yeah. Five for the glance, six so for, the, for the save. Let's just do the two hits then. No. No, so they're both three. All right, so first two firepower checks here. Mm -hmm. Yep. Three up, killed. Boom. For the long barrel, went straight through. Oh, two bales. Two bales. So morale check. The first one bales out, bales the tank out. The other one goes uh, uh, forces the remount check. Right. So I have to do a remount check then. Yeah. Your remount is a four up. Okay. Nope. nope it is gone. He's gone. I have Game to over. laugh. As soon as I call it, this might take a while. It's just like, no, 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 boss. We'll yeah. work now. It's fine. We'll work <laughs> now. We'll do it. Fine. Fine. The dice fine. will play. Well, uh, that's victory to me for the first one. First yep. one. Yeah. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. Thank you. you. So, Thanks. guys. That is the very basics of how Flames of War 4th Edition works. There is a lot of da tactical depth, lots of nuances, lots of armies you can be building. So I think what we're going to do here, we're going to try and get as many games in as we can while you guys are here. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll try and get as many people playing as we can while you guys are here. Yeah. And we'll see what interesting battles we can have in the desert in Flames of War 4th Edition. So yeah. thank you very much for watching. Drop your comments below. Have you enjoyed Flames of War 4th Edition so far? We'll move on and we will see you in the next battle. We hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now and be sure to check out beastsofwar.com for the latest gaming news and gaming let's plays. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.